This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be describing the process to fine tune Lama 2 LLM. I'm not going to show you any uh, demo as such with a collab notebook or anything. I'm just going through the process. A lot of other people have written blogs for the same. Uh, but some things are common across all these blogs so I, or, and videos. Okay? So I just want to discuss those things over here. Right. Um, so if you go to the official repository of Facebook Research Llama Recipes, they have this Llama 2 Jupyter Notebook uh, where they explain how to fine tune a Llama 2 model on the text summarization task. Okay, using the Samsung. Basically, Samsung is a summarization data set. This notebook uses efficient uh, parameter efficient fine tuning and int 8. Uh, quantization to fine tune a 7 billion parameter llama on a single GPU like A10 with 24 GB GPU memory. Okay, so here is their notebook. So if you look across all these fine tuning scripts, uh, the first step typically would be either to pre process your data set or load the model. Now, your data set could be something like this, where you know it's a dialog summarization data set here, where you have a dialog string and a summary string. Or it could be like this, which is an uh, uh, Databricks Dolly uh, instruction fine tuning data set where you have an instruction, you have a context string, a response, and a category. Okay, so here the idea is that given an instruction and a context, a response needs to be generated from the large language model. Okay, right? So you will have data sets like this. So the difficulty is going to be in getting these data sets creating these data okay now assume you have created these data sets okay so for example in this case given a dialog you want to get a summary that is what they are showing in this particular uh, you know recipe or the quick start jupyter notebook from the official uh, you know made, uh, llama repository okay so what they are doing over here is that uh, they have to convert the model in this repository to Hugging face format. We have downloaded the official model from here because they make use of hugging face trainer. So the model checkpoint needs to be converted from its original format into the dedicated hugging face format. So they have a script to do that. Okay. Then what you do is that uh, you point the model ID to that folder and you load the tokenizer and the model uh, using transformers library from hugging face. That is what is done over here. Llama for causal LM, Llama tokenizer, and you are doing that. So over here, if you see, they have done load in 8 bit. Okay. Uh, to reduce memory uh, usage, GPU memory usage. That's what they have done over here. And the torch D type is torch.float16. Now uh, Philip skimmed, uh, skimmed uh, from Hugging Face also has an interesting blog, right, where uh, he talks about uh, instruction tune. Lama 2. Okay. Um, so here he talks about defining a use case and then instruction to Lama 2 using TRL and SF trainer. So here, if you look at the code, the code over here, uh, when loading the model, he is actually loading it in 4 bit because he wants to use the 4 bit quantized version of the model, okay, which reduces memory consumption further. Okay. But the idea is somewhere same. You need to define a bits and bytes config when you are loading the model or you know when you are loading the model you specify uh, you want to load 8 bit 4 bit and things like that. So this is the part where you are loading the model right the key part is actually how are you going to prepare your data set right so here they are checking the base model by just giving a prompt like this summarize this dialog they are giving a dialog and summary and when they are passing it to the base model and then gener generating text, it doesn't, you know, it just repeats text. It doesn't you know, get the summary. So uh, they uh, they are trying to fine tune this model to generate a summary over here. Okay. The next step over here is they are preparing a model for parameter efficient fine tuning. Okay. So for this, you they are creating a config over here, and in the config they are, you know, defining some parameters for LoRa. Okay, LoRa is a method for parameter efficient fine tuning. So they are you know, 
defining parameters for that over here and they are also preparing an int 8 model for training okay using parameter efficient training so they are creating that over here they are creating a, a parameter efficient config okay so that is what they are doing over here look at from philip uh, the blog from philip even he also creates a dora and peft config over here and they also get create a model over here preparing a model for training in parameter this is also common across you know, this kind of training right kind of fine tuning the process of right over here in the official recipe they have defined an option profiler right and then they call fine tuning the model because the data set is already created over here in a particular format okay so they also uh, it's a pre-processed data set uh, what they say is that we load and uh, we pre-process the data set. So there is this method called get pre-process data set from utils. Um, so if you go to that particular recipe over here, right, uh, you know, this data set is there over here. Uh, so there is this get pre-processing. So this pre-processing is defined over here. So basically the text uh, is converted into a prompt like this where you have the dialogue summary and end of uh, token right uh, so basically it is converting this particular data set into a particular format okay, where they are adding uh, this thing like uh, get summary of this dialog and this is the response they are concatenating here and creating a prompt in this pre-process okay apply prompt template uh, text is this thing so the prompt is this summarize this dialog okay and dialog is coming from here Right, the text is coming from here, and then the summary is coming from this. Picture. You know, they are basically creating this prompt. Summarize this dialog. The dialog is coming from this column, and summary is coming from this column. That is what this pre-process script does. So in this way, actually, they are pre-processing the text over here. Right. So that is done already. So in that way, they have got the trained data set. Right. And they actually then they pass the train data set. Uh, you know, they create this profiler. Uh, then they fine tune the model. Um, they create training arguments over here, right? And to the trainer, they pass the model, the training arguments, the train data set, and the data collator. And if there are any callbacks, and they call trainer dot train. Okay. In this way, your Llama two is now getting fine tuned. Okay. And they save this pre-trained model, okay? And they are able to evaluate the pre-trained model, and here it works for summarization, okay? So this is the script, official script, which is present over here in this case. So not hugging face, the Llama two official repository. Now, if you go to uh, you know, uh, uh, the use case over here where Philip has explained. Uh, so the use case over here is the idea is that uh, you want to actually create right uh, basically you want to uh, create uh, what do you want to do over here you want to generate instructions right so what is instruction instruction is a piece of text or prompt that is provided to an llm like kalama gpt4 to guide to generate a response okay so the idea over here is that uh, you want to fine tune a model to generate instructions based on the input okay, so the output is instructions the input is some text for example if you have you know uh, this as an instruction use the input below to create an instruction and uh, this is the this thing right this is the input right which is the uh, this thing dear boss name i'm writing request next week i'll be off or something the instruction which needs to be generated is write an email to my boss that i need so this is the what is uh, you know this is what you are fine tuning llama 2 to generate instructions okay so for this uh, you know uh, what uh, philip uses over here is the dolly uh, databricks dolly 15k data set okay so this data set is available over here so here there is a context string there is a response and there is an instruction 
So the idea of fine tuning an LLM over here is to given this context and response, can you generate an instruction? Okay, that is the whole idea over here. So you are fine tuning an uh, Llama 2 model to generate instruction. Okay, so here uh, you know you need to actually uh, pre-process the data set. So that is where this format instruction comes, where uh, you know use the input below to create an instruction. The instruction is use use an input below to create an instruction. The input is response, and the uh, you know the output is sample instruction, right? From this data set, the input will be this you know instruction, and uh, the input will be this response, and the output will be this instruction. That is what over here is being done. So that is a format instruction or pre-process, right? Uh, then uh, he talks about how you can use flash attention over here and the rest of the process is about defining you know loading the model uh, creating the tokenizer uh, loading the model and then preparing it for parameter efficient fine tuning right and then um, creating the training arguments and then creating the trainer sftt trainer sft trainer uh, to start training the model right so the data set is the dolly data set but he is passing this formatting function to convert the data set okay and uh, here he is an example also of how this looks like right on a sample so the idea is use the input below to create an instruction which could have been used to generate the input using an llm so the input is this thing response is when was the indian national flag adapted so this is the instruction which needs Right. Um, so once training the model following this process, it also shows a certain output over here. So the prompt is you are given Jack Dorsey, no glass with stone and gems. The generated instruction was extract the founders of Twitter from this passage, display the results in a generated format. Not in this passage, from any passage. This is the output which got generated from. So the generated instruction should be this. So the ground truth is list the founders of Twitter from the above passage. So the generated instruction is close to the ground truth. Okay. So this blog explains in detail uh, this process of how you can fine tune Lama 2. You can check out this blog. There is another blog over here which talks about fine tuning Lama 2 models using single GPU, QLoRa, and AI notebooks. So you can check that out as well. Right, um, there is this video from Abhishek Thakur who talks about easiest way to fine tune Llama local machine. You can check this as well. Uh, most of them, if you look at uh, you know the commonality across these uh, blogs, the process is same. The process is fine tuning. Um, the for fine tuning Llama two is basically you know pre-processing a data set into a certain format. So the creation of the data set is going to be crucial. Then it is about loading the model, whether you want to use a quantized version of the model, 8-bit, 4-bit, right? Creating a PEFT configuration, creating parameters for the trainer, right? And then you are training the model and then saving the model, okay? That is all uh, the process. I hope this video is useful for you. I'll be putting the links to all, uh, the links to all these blogs over here. Uh, what I've discussed in this video, you can go and check out. I'm not going to try out a demo as such, okay? But you can look at these um, links and you can try it for yourself.